iOS basics for the first time iPhone user. You've done it. You've jumped onto the Apple iPhone. You have gone through other operating systems like Android or Windows and tried out various types of phones, only to end up or newly migrated over with your first ever iOS device. With that in mind, you will see a few different things right off the bat. Don't panic. Learning how to navigate this system is easier than you may think. It all starts with getting the feel for the basics down. So then when you completely transition, it's pretty easy. If you have navigated from another touchscreen phone, then the transition is even easier. If you haven't upgraded for a long time and still using a dinosaur phone, then this will help you get acquainted with your new gadget. Keep a note, your screen may appear a little different depending on which version you had. So the Apple account. Register as soon as possible. Regardless of what led you to the iPhone, you're going to want to register for an Apple account, which is your ticket to all things iOS. You'd want to register this and create something that will help you navigate through the system. When you do this, you'll be able to set up payment types for iTunes, the App Store, and your own digital fingerprint. You can always do this later, but it's best to do it up front. With that in mind, open Settings, go to the App Store, and click Apple ID. All of this to register and update information and more. The Control Center for a lot of things. The Control Center is going to help you connect, disconnect, change settings, and control a lot of apps. To access this area, you will need to look at Settings, then go to the Control Center. Here you will find Airplane Mode, Wireless Connectivity, Brightness, Calculator, Flashlight, Music Controls, Lock Mechanisms, AirDrop, and much more. You need to get very familiar with this, because you will no doubt want to use it often. iCloud Synchronicity one of the most incredible things that you will see with your device is the iCloud. You can go to settings, then hit iCloud, and you'll be able to sync your device with all other iOS devices you may have. You will have several many tabs you could turn on and off, and even back up your camera, music, images, bookmarks, for Safari, and much more. Just in case your phone or device crashes, this syncing will help you out big time. Notification Center Toggling As far as making that transition from Windows or Androids to iOS, you will no doubt want to look at Notification Center. This is something that you will be able to check out with your daily routine for missed calls and much more. On your device, swipe down from the top of your screen and you'll see this. Go to the settings and go to Notification Center and you can adjust nearly everything you want to have for your phone. Notification Center can help you toggle all sorts of things from customizing the screen, background, and much more. This and the Control Center both work quite well. If you have used any other smartphone before, these tips will help you gain a footing and move forward with your transitional elements. Just keep toying around with your device and you'll figure things out in no time. The, the iPhone, after all, is a lot easier to get used to. You'll see.